Good evening, everybody. We are picking it back up in Revelation. We're in um, chapter 12, and we're just going to go ahead and get started there. So, Lord, we ask for wisdom and understanding as we go to your word. Please open eyes and ears. Um, in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. So this is, again, using symbology and is representative of Israel. Hence, from the twelve stars, from the twelve tribes on her head. And she, being with child, cried, travailing in birth, and pained to be delivered. And who do you think that child was? It'll explain here in a minute. And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his heads. And Supposedly, the interpretation of that symbology is the um, the the nations or the the um, power. Where does it say this university of earthly power uh, that Satan has with him there at the end? And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth and. That, remember, we talked about um, Satan's first rebellion and that he drew away a third of, the, of God's children. And that's why God doesn't want to destroy everyone and why he would never flood the earth again, because he wants everybody to come to repentance. And the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child as soon as it was born. And she brought forth a man-child who was to rule all nations with the rod of iron. Who do, you, who do you think that is? That's our Lord and Savior. And her child was caught up unto God and to his throne. And to this day he sits at the right hand of God. And the woman fled into the wilderness where she hath a place prepared of God that they should feed her there a thousand Two hundred and three score days. That's that three and a half years that, that we keep talking about. And I, I'm going to go, it referenced Ezekiel, just to read you some of that about that wilderness. Um, where are we? Chapter 20, verse 35. This is to Israel. And I will bring you into the wilderness of the people, and there will I plead with you face to face, like as I pleaded with your fathers in the wilderness of the land of Egypt, so will I plead with you, saith the Lord God. And I will cause you to pass under the rod, that rod of, of judgment, and I will bring you into the bond of the covenant. And I will purge out from among you the rebels and them that transgress against me. I will bring them forth out of the country where they sojourn, and they shall not enter the land of Israel. And ye shall know I am the Lord. He's going to pick those tares up from among us and um, never, never to be again. And that's that. <laughs> Uh, where did we go? So verse 7. <clears throat> and there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and, and his angels. And they prevailed not. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. So you got nothing to worry about. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil, and here it says that that means little slanderer. I had never heard that before, but that's here in the companion Bible notes. Um, and Satan adversary is what that means, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth and his angels were cast out with him. 
glory be to that day, uh, but woe to, to us on earth. So lots more to come. Um, I love you guys. I hope you're having a wonderful day, evening, and um, love and blessings, and we'll pick it up there tomorrow. Have a good night.